Chapters 1 through 4 of the Gospel According to Matthew from the American Bible Union's New Testament. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Mark Penfold. Chapters 1 through 4 of the Gospel According to Matthew. Chapter 1 book of the generation of jesus christ son of david son of abraham abraham begot isaac and isaac begot jacob and jacob begot judah and his brothers and judah begot phares and zara of tamar and phares begot hezron and hezron begot ram and ram begot aminadab and aminadab begot nashon and Nashon begot Salmon, and Salmon begot Boaz of Rahab, and Boaz begot Obed of Ruth, and Obed begot Jesse, and Jesse begot David the king. And David begot Solomon of the wife of Uriah, and Solomon begot Rehoboam, and Rehoboam begot Abijah, and Abijah begot Asa, and Asa begot Jehoshaphat. And Jehoshaphat begot Joram, and Joram begot Uzziah, and Uzziah begot Jotham, and Jotham begot Ahaz, and Ahaz begot Hezekiah, and Hezekiah begot Manasseh, and Manasseh begot Amon, and Amon begot Josiah, and Josiah begot Jeconiah and his brothers at the time of the removal to Babylon. And after the removal to Babylon, Jeconiah begot Salathiel, and Salathiel begot Zerubbabel, and Zerubbabel begot Abiud, and Abiud begot Eliakim, and Eliakim begot Azor, and Azor begot Zadok, and Zadok begot Akim, and Akim begot Eliud, and Eliud begot Eleazar, and Eleazar begot Mathan, and Mathan begot Jacob, and Jacob begot Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Jesus, who is called Christ. All the generations, therefore, from Abraham unto David, are fourteen generations, and from David unto the removal to Babylon, fourteen generations, and from the removal to Babylon unto the Christ, fourteen generations. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was after this manner. His mother Mary, having been betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child by the Holy Spirit. And Joseph, her husband, being just and not willing to expose her openly, desired to put her away privately. But while he thought on these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph! Son of David, fear not to take to thee Mary thy wife, for that which is begotten in her is of the Holy Spirit, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. And all this has come to pass, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Behold, the virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is interpreted, God with us. And Joseph, awaking from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord bade him, and took to him his wife. And he knew her not till she brought forth a son, and he called his name Jesus. Chapter 2 and Jesus, having been born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we saw his star in the east, and came to do him homage. And the king, Herod, hearing it, was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And having assembled all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ should be born. And they said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, And thou, Bethlehem, land of Judah, 
art by no means least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come forth a governor, who shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, having secretly called the wise men, inquired of them exactly the time of the appearing of the star. And he sent them to Bethlehem, and said, Go and inquire strictly concerning the child, and when ye have found him, bring me word again, that I also may come and do him homage. And they, having heard the king, departed. And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the child was. And seeing the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And coming into the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and fell down and did homage to him. And opening their treasures, they presented to him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. And being warned by God in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed into their own country by another way. And when they had departed, behold, an angel of the Lord appears to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the child and his mother, and flee into Egypt, and be there until I bring thee word. For Herod is about to seek the child to destroy him. And he arose, and took the child and his mother by night, and departed into Egypt, and was there until the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the Lord through the prophets, saying, Out of Egypt I called my son. Then Herod, seeing that he was mocked by the wise men, was exceedingly enraged, and he sent forth and slew all the male children that were in Bethlehem and in all its borders, from two years old and under, according to the time which he had exactly learned from the wise men. Then was fulfilled that which was spoken through Jeremiah the prophet, saying, A voice was heard in Ramah, weeping and great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children, and would not be comforted, because they are not. But when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord appears in a dream to Joseph in Egypt, saying, Arise, and take the child and his mother, and go into the land of Israel, for they are dead who sought the child's life. And he arose, and took the child and his mother, and came into the land of Israel. But hearing that Archelaus reigned in Judea instead of Herod his father, he was afraid to go thither, and being warned by God in a dream, he retired into the region of Galilee. And he came and dwelt in a city called Nazareth, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken through the prophets. He shall be called a Nazarene. Chapter 3 in those days comes John, the Immerser, preaching in the wilderness of Judea, and saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand! For this is he that was spoken of through the prophet Isaiah, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. And he, John, had his raiment of camel's hair, and a leathern girdle about his loins and his food was locusts and wild honey. Then went out to him Jerusalem, and all Judea, and all the region about the Jordan. And they were immersed by him in the Jordan, confessing their sins. But seeing many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming to his immersion, he said to them, Brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the coming wrath? Bring forth therefore fruit worthy of repentance, and think not to say within yourselves, we have Abraham for our father. For I say to you that God is able of these stones to raise up children to Abraham. And already the axe is laid to the root of the trees. Therefore every tree that brings not forth good fruit is cut down and cast into the fire. I indeed immerse you in water unto repentance. But he that comes after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to bear. He will immerse you in the Holy Spirit and fire whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly cleanse his threshing floor, and will gather his wheat into the garner, but the chaff he will burn up with fire unquenchable. Then Jesus comes from Galilee to the Jordan to John, to be immersed by him. But John sought to hinder him, saying, I have need to be immersed by thee, and dost thou come to me? And Jesus answering said to him, Suffer it now, for thus it becomes us to fulfill all righteousness. 
Then he suffered him. And having been immersed, Jesus went up immediately from the water, and lo, the heavens were opened to him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending as a dove and coming upon him. And lo, a voice out of heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Chapter 4 Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And having fasted forty days and forty nights, he afterwards hungered. And coming to him, the tempter said, If thou art the Son of God, command that these stones become loaves of bread. But he answering said, It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Then the devil takes him into the holy city, and sets him on the pinnacle of the temple, and says to him, If thou art the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, He will give his angels command concerning thee, and on their hands they will bear thee up, lest haply thou dash thy foot against a stone. Jesus said to him, Again it is written, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Again the devil takes him into an exceedingly high mountain, and shows him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them, and says to him, All these things I will give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then Jesus says to him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Then the devil leaves him, and behold, angels came and ministered to him. And hearing that John was delivered up, he retired into Galilee, and leaving Nazareth he came and dwelt in Capernaum, which is by the sea, in the borders of Zebulun and Naphtali, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken through Isaiah the prophet, saying, The land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, by the way of the sea beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people that sat in darkness saw great light, and to those sitting in the region and shadow of death, light sprang up. From that time Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And walking by the sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And he says to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. And they, immediately leaving the nets, followed him, and going on from thence, he saw other two brothers, James the son of Zebedee, and John his brother, in the ship with Zebedee their father, mending their nets. And he called them, and they, immediately leaving the ship and their father, followed him. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the good news of the kingdom, and healing every sickness and every infirmity among the people. And his fame went forth into all Syria, and they brought to him all that were sick, taken with diverse diseases and torments, and possessed with demons, and lunatic, and palsied. And he healed them. And great multitudes followed him from Galilee, and Decapolis, and Jerusalem, and Judea, and from beyond the Jordan. The end of chapters 1 through 4 of the Gospel according to Matthew from the American Bible Union's New Testament. Recording by Mark Penfold.